Hi, my name is Layla Joy Williams and I'm from New York City. I love design from architecture to fashion to product design. In 2014, I started my footwear company, Ilia. Life was busy, hectic. I would say in an average year, I would take at least four to five international trips. In 2020, I traveled to Spain in February. I planned to be in Europe for just a couple of weeks on a business trip. I planned to stay with my boyfriend, Oscar. Suddenly, the entire world had shut down. I was living in a region where there were a tremendous amount of luxury shoe factories and wineries. I asked my boyfriend to take me to some of the wineries. I had an idea and it involved pursuing wine. Please, Sam fan, welcome Layla Joy Williams. She joins us now from her new home in Marbella, Spain. Hi, Hi Cameron. Hey. Okay, first of all, we have a live audience, Layla Joy, and the minute we showed all that beautiful, lush landscape, we all went there in our hearts. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you're there now. Tell us a little bit about where you are and, 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 and your Medita Mediterranean life now. I'm in, amaz I'm in an amazing space, um, a place right now called Marbella, and it is ac absolutely picturesque. Um, you know, I wake up in the morning and I take um, long walks by the, the seashore, and it's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. So you have this seemingly ideal life, but the next act came at a very difficult time. You were there vacationing, and then, as you said, the world stopped. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't, I was actually, um, the top of 2020, I traveled to Spain cause I was going to an industry show yeah. in, um, Italy. And, um, once that show was finished, my boyfriend and I, my then boyfriend and I went to Venice to go to just spend the weekend in Venice. And then I traveled back to Spain because my plan was to go into the, the shoe factories and get to work. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as we left Venice, the airspace shut down. And then we get to Spain and the airports close. Mm. And having never been through a situation like that, you know, I just thought it was going to be like three weeks. So I decided to stay because I was like the smaller brand in um, a luxury factory. So I thought, okay, well, at least I'll stay and I'll be the first one in the factory once everything reopened. And then weeks went by and it became very clear to me that everything had really come to a complete halt. So I needed to just kind of um, think about what would be next. Right. And how did you start the process to figure out what was next? I know you said you and your boyfriend at the time then went to a vineyard, and suddenly you found your what's next in an unexpected way. Yes. I mean, when I had, you know, I have had my business for about seven years at this point, and you know, I had always imagined having many tentacles to that business, one of which was wine and different um, elements of alcohol. So um, I'm sitting in an area, a little area called um, Elda in the Valencian region, where, you know, a, a lot of the luxury shoes are made. And then there are also a lot of like generationally owned wineries. Mm -hmm. So I'm somebody that really needs to focus their energy on a project. And so as I was sitting in Spain and realizing the factories weren't opening anytime soon, I decided that I asked my boyfriend at the time, my now husband, you know, if he would take me to some of the wineries so that I could just start to think about what my business would look like, you know, if I were to delve in, just understand the, the business that was needed in terms of moving product from one continent to the next, to the United States. And, um, then I went for about, went to about 25 different wineries. And then I started to kind of create what I wanted my business to look like in terms of the product itself. So you went then, from shoes to wine? Yes. Had you ever imagined this transition? No, absolutely Never. not. Never. I thought maybe I would add that element to my business maybe five to seven years from now. I never thought in a million years that I would have started the business in 2020, like actually putting pen to paper. What I love about your story, many things, living in Spain and having a winery, but there's that. It's that the next act came in a difficult moment. 
of choice, right? You, you could have kept doubling down on the shoes, which were beautiful and, and was your passion, but you said, okay, my next act will require a pivot. And that's important to keep in mind. I, you know, I really had no plan whatsoever when I, when I started this, I just wanted to learn about the business. Wow. But, you know, as I started to put one foot in front of the other, everything came together. Wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I'm having the best time. Uh, Layla Joy, so you went, you were there with your boyfriend at the time. You reveal now husband. What was that next act like for you? I can only tell you that in 2019, I would never have thought I would be, you know, getting married. Um, I wasn't even really looking for love. I was focused primarily on business. And so we met um, in a shoe factory. We really, um, actually hired somebody to um, help with translation. And Oscar happened to be his best friend. So Oscar, who is also in the industry, um, in leather goods, he came to a meeting right. and um, then helped me to find a factory and that's how the relationship really started. Well, I think it's fascinating because obviously we think about next chapters, people often think about work and where you live, but it also can include love and bringing in that person on your journey. I know that age 43, you got another surprise. You always wanted to be a mother and at 43, you got another surprise. I, I always wanted to be a mother, Tamron, and it was really about finding the right time in my life. I mean, I have traveled all of my life, like all, all of my, my adult career, and my life just wasn't conducive to having a baby. And, but, I, but it was so important to me that I just wanted to do it right. And at the end of 2020, I got pregnant. Aww. <laughs> There you are in your mid 40s now a mom. Is this next chapter surreal? It's the best chapter of my life. It really is. You know, I could cry. I just, I mean, when I look at her every day, I just like, I can't believe she's mine, you know? Oh. And, you know, hug, um, I, Oscar I, is just an amazing husband. I know that feeling. Well, Layla Joy, thank you. Congratulations on your next chapter and inspiring other people to step out there. And, and make it happen. Thank you so much, and best to you and your Thank beautiful you. family. Congratulations to you as well. Thank, Thank you. you.